welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system so today we are going to solve the problem which is related to differential equation where we are going to apply the laplace transformation and we are going to find out the transfer function frequency response impulse response and step response so this is the given problem d square y of t by dt square plus 6 d y of t by dt plus 8 y of t which is equal to d x of t by dt plus 3 x of t. So we have to find out the transfer function first followed by frequency response, impulse response and step response. So since this is the differential equation, we can either apply the Laplace transformation or Fourier transformation. So here they didn't mention any method. So we can easily apply the Laplace transformation. So the given equation is d square y of t by t square plus 6 d y of t by dt plus 8 y of t that is equal to d x of t by dt plus 3 x of t. So apply the Laplace transformation on both sides. So d square by dt square we can write it as s square y of t we can write it as f y of s and then again c d by dt we can write it as s y of t we can replace it by y of s and then 8 is constant you can write as this again y of s again d by dt is s for x of t we can write it as x of s plus 3 x of s so take y of s commonly outside so you will get s square plus 6s plus 8 is equal to again right hand side take x of s commonly outside we have s plus 3. So the transfer function is given by h of s is equal to y of s by x of s. So we have s plus 3 divided by s square plus 6s plus h. So this is the transfer function. The first subdivision is over. Then we have to find out the frequency response. So frequency response in the sense we have to find out h of j omega. So just replace wherever you have yes just replace it by j omega. That's it we can find out the frequency response. So we have frequency response. which is given by h of j omega. So, wherever we have s, replace it by j omega. So, j omega plus 3 divided by j omega the whole square plus we have 6 is already. So, now it is j omega 8. So, this is the frequency response. Then the next is impulse response. We have to determine the impulse response. So, for finding out the impulse response, we can take x of t as del of t. Why? Because impulse response. So, we have to send your impulse signal to the system. So, for impulse response, x of t is del of t, meaning that your x of s is 1, that is Laplace transformation of del of t is 1. So, we have y of s by x of s. Already, we have determined the transfer function h of s, that is but y of s by x of s this is the equation what we have obtained that is s plus a divided by s square plus s plus a so here we have x of s equal to 1 so our y of s is x of s equal to s plus 3 divided by s square plus s plus a so we need to find out what is y of t so, for finding out your y of t, we have to apply the inverse Laplace transformation. So, we cannot directly apply the inverse Laplace transformation here. So, we have to apply the partial fractions. So, we can write s plus 3 divided by s square plus 6s plus 8. Okay. So, factorize your denominator. So, it is nothing but s plus 3 divided by s plus 4 into s plus 2. Okay. So when you have 8 
4 into 2 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay. So, this so apply the partial fraction a by s plus 4 plus b by s plus 2. Okay. So, find out your a value and b value. So, in the left hand side we will be having s plus 3, right hand side we will be having that is cross multiply a into s plus 2, b into s plus 4. So, we have s plus 3 equal to a into s plus 2 plus b into s plus 4. So, substitute the values. Let us substitute s equal to minus 2. So, we have minus plus 3 that is b into 2. So, b value is nothing but 1 by 2. And then substitute s equal to minus 4. So, we have minus 4 plus 3 that is equal to a into minus 4 plus 2. Again, a is equal to here we have minus 1, here we have minus 2. So, again, a value will become 1 by 2. So, substituting in your y of s, okay, already we have a by s plus 4, so 1 by 2 divided by s plus 4, plus 1 by 2 divided by s plus 4. So, taking inverse Laplace transformation, we have y of t is equal to 1 by 2, so for 1 by s plus a, it is e power minus a t of t, so e power minus 40 of t plus 1 by 2 power minus 2 t of t. Okay. So, this is the final impulse response. Then we have to find out step response. So, for the step response, we have x of t equal to u of t in the sense taking Laplace of x of t that is Laplace of u of t we have x of s is equal to 1 by s. So again already we know x of s equal to y of t by x of s that is given by s of t divided by s square plus x plus 8. So since we are taking x of s as 1 by s right y of s equal to s divided by s into this term. So, again factors we can write it as a factor. So, s plus 4 into s plus 2. Apply partial fraction. So, we have a by s plus b by s plus 4 c by s plus 2. So, what, what is there in the left hand side? We have s plus 3. What about your right hand side? For A, we have to multiply by, so always compare with the denominator term. Here already S is there, other terms are plus 4 into S plus 2. For B, we have to multiply by S into S plus 2. For C, we have to multiply by S into S plus 2. So, what are all the substitute, uh, uh, we can substitute for S. One is, we can make this term as 0 by substituting s equal to minus 4. So one term we can substitute s equal to minus 4. Another term is equal to minus 2. And for this we can substitute s equal to 0. Okay. So when you substitute s equal to minus 4 here it is minus 1. So this and this get cancelled. Only b term will be there. So b into minus 4 into minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So, B is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 8 because this term will get 8 and here we will get minus 1 by 8 and then substitute S equal to minus 2. So, 1 is equal to this and this get cancelled only C will be there. So, minus 2 into 2. So, C is equal to minus 1 by 4 and substitute S equal to 0. 3 is equal to a into 4 into 2. So, A is equal to 3 by 8. So, finally, we can write 
3 by 8 the whole divided by s minus 1 by 8 the whole divided by s plus 4 minus 1 by 4 the whole divided by s plus 4. So when you apply inverse Laplace transformation you can write it as y of t is equal to 3 by 8 for 1 by s you can write it as y of t minus 1 by 8 into e power minus 4 t of t and the final term is minus 1 by 4 e power minus 2 